The GS is doing a lot so that teachers and community uh, members, opinion leaders, all major stakeholders in education will be able to account for the learning outcomes in the various schools. A lot of workshops, capacity building training sessions and workshops are being organized so that we are educated and trained on how to present data and analyze them for improvement in education. Incentives in terms of what? Educational materials. Educational materials. The least said about that, the better. I know the GS is doing its best, but its, its best is woefully inadequate. Even though they give learning grants to schools, the capitation grant, how much is it? Sometimes you receive as low as 230 Ghana cities for a school that has a large enrollment size of about 600 or 500. And what can you do with 230 Ghana cities? And so if you expect better learning outcomes, and this same amount of money is what the teachers will have to use to buy their Manila cards and all the things they need to work with. In terms of equipment and materials, let me even talk about textbooks. In some schools, they have large class sizes, 50 plus, 70 plus, and they have as low as 10 textbooks. And you could imagine, when it comes to learning outcomes, if it comes to reading, Depending on the number of children that gather around one book, whilst one person sees A, another person sees V with their cross in the middle. And so how are we going to achieve the better learning outcomes that we are talking about? It is important we spend much more resources in education than what we are doing now. The schools are really suffering. And it, it, it is something that is so passionate to all of us. We want to achieve the best because, you know, without education, we cannot develop as a country. But unfortunately, the needed resources that we need to work with are seriously lacking. We are working towards that, but you know, the resources are provided by the employer. And in all sectors, I don't think employees use their money to buy the materials they need to work with. But in the school settings, teachers are using their money to buy materials to work with. Teachers are using their money to buy textbooks to teach their children with. And this is a very big challenge to all of us. It doesn't motivate teaching, to be honest with you. And teachers are so dissatisfied because what we see in other establishments is not seen in the GES, the work we do. I'm a teacher, I'm a head teacher, and what else can I do? Then what we used to do was to fall on community members, especially parents, to support us with the needed resources that we need to work with. And parents used to support us really. In some schools, parents have even put up six classroom block and all that. But now we don't have a PTA, we have PA. Meaning that teachers are no more part of the PAs, parents associations, and they are not even supposed to hold their meetings at the school level. And they hold their meetings without the teachers and the school authorities. And so whatever they discuss, we don't even know how they levy the children, whatever resources they have, how they expend the money. We have no idea. And so this is a challenge that we are still battling with, but we don't know what we can do anyway. Mm -hmm.